It's been two weeks since the last episode took place in game. And uh, from the moment that we're in right now to the last moment you guys seen, something bad happened. Whitehead was kidnapped and is now a prisoner to this gang that hangs outside of the lake. Um, and we unfortunately haven't been in the position to save him right away. For we're all really weak, low on health, no armor, broken equipment. So we haven't been able to rush in and save them as this, the people that have taken him prisoner are a lot stronger than us. It's been about eight to nine days since we've seen Whitehead. And this is going to be the journey to rescue him and bring him back to his family, to his companions rightfully by our side. So we're going to get the equipment and rescue him and bring him back to us. Let's do it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to War Tales. Today is a big episode because, well, as you guys heard, <clears throat> Whitehead was captured. Uh, he was captured somewhere around in this area here on our way back from doing the mission that I thought we ha didn't have access to. We actually found out how to get there and we completed that. We are very poor still, but um, our, our goal here now is to, uh, to get Whitehead back, get enough money, and uh, get him cured, which we actually know how to do that as the lady in this village here sells the cure I think that is one of our main goals here she is selling it right now for 59 coin so we're going to do that we're gonna save Whitehead cure him and give him back to his wife let him live his life out. But we also got to figure out how we're going to freaking pay and, and afford everybody here. As we are barely just... We're struggling to make ends meet at this point. Um, we are good. We're set though. We, we have hills. Everyone's healed up to, you know, 100%. We're about to go fight these guys. And try and see if we can't get Keith, uh Not Keith, uh Whitehead back. And, um, it's going to be interesting to say the least. There they are. We see them. And they're coming for us. There's five of them and Whitehead is still there. There's only four of us. So we're outnumbered by one. This is it, men. We're either going to die or live on the top of this mountain. But we will have an answer by the end of it because we are not running no more. We will save Whitehead. We will bring back our brother. I don't like the layout of where we're at, but that's okay figure it out they have no archers no they do they have one one archer mmm okay so I think what we're gonna do oh by the way Keister lost his hammer the dude just lost it how do you lose a hammer I don't know but he lost it and now he has this uh, like it does more damage singly but yeah, he, he 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 lost his damn hammer. Okay, don't don't ask me how. Hopefully he's gonna be able to take on this leader here. I think this is their leader, or is their leader? 
No, that's their leader. Bomber. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're gonna have Jordan come over here behind her. She is gonna turn around and get ready for it. Have him stab her. And then... Mm, I think that's honestly it. I don't want to use up our two. I think we'll just keep her in combat. So she's going to punch him. That's honestly perfect. Perfect little move. Kisa's going to be able to eat this, I think. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, wow. So this is... Uh, deals 19 damage to all units in the area. So if we get Keister to move away, does that... Alright, we're going to get Keister to... Oh, damn, there's a trap there. Nice work. Nice work, Keister. Getting around that targeted area there, and then... Bam! From behind, with another... We are going to use his special here. Uh, seven could have been better could have been worse We're gonna end our turn Now Keister could get hit from behind. It looks like that's gonna happen. Oh, wow a throwing axe. Okay. <gasps> oh Keister has no armor left. No, not Boog Okay, I can't control Boog so if he dies, there's nothing I can do there <clears throat> I'm worried for Keister though because, you know, he got hit. So I think Zim's gonna have to try and save him here. See if he can, anyways. Is there seriously like no? Now we're going to move here. Move here. Oh, are you serious? That's it? <clears throat> Alright, Keith, so you're going to have to hang in there, okay? Hang in there, man. Protection for two rounds. Damage taken is reduced. That's honestly worth it. That's going to protect him and Keister. Alright, now it is my turn. I need to get... I need to get back, honestly. My range is still open. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move here. <clears throat> I should be able to shoot over the dog's head. Oh, that's kind of lame. Alright, well, we'll focus on taking this person out here. And then. I think we're going to end our turn here. I'm worried about Boog. I think he's going to get... Oh, no, he went around. He's, he was smart enough to know to go around. That's actually awesome. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, Boog. No, Boog. Our dog that we captured is about to die. That's not good. I wish I could control him, but I can't. All right, so it's our turn. Who are we missing here? Oh no, it's a new round. So we can use whoever we want. First things first, I think. Uh, if they are in, engaged in combat, gain one. There we go, baby. Good work, Keister. So 
too. He isn't going to be able to attack, though. But what he could do... Force the target to engage and inflict weak it, weakening to them for one round. Mm. And applies weakening for three rounds. Oh yeah, no, we should use this for sure. Damn, there you go. Alright. Good work, Keister. Boog is dead. Ugh. R.I.P. to Boog. He was a good dog. You guys didn't get to see much of Boog, but I did off camera. He actually he fought with us in like three to four battles. This was his, I think this was his fifth battle technically with us over the last two weeks in game. He will not be forgotten. That one does sting a little bit. I would be lying if I if I said it didn't. Alright, I'm going to fall back here behind Jordan just so if I need to, I can heal him. And what's cool about my character now, oh, except for when I do that, um, I need to move up just a, a little bit here. I can hit this guy, right? Bam. Then, I can hit him and knock him back even farther. Now look at that, baby. My arching skills is getting a lot better. So... And uh, you gain one per alley in the area. Let's do it. That'll give us one. And we will end our turn. I'm getting a little bit better at the game, guys. I am enjoying it. Um, RIP to Boog, though. I'm at least understanding how the functions work. Uh, stab her. Can we finish her off? with the no there's just no point this honestly isn't doing that much anymore for me four to five damage is not that good so i think we're just going to end their turn now i want to see real quick what does this person's damage do five to seven and three to four, so Keister should be good, honestly. Let's end the round. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Okay. Oh, two? Keister's gonna eat that all day. He ain't worried. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm gonna let Keister one on one, one v one that person. And uh, Zim's gonna come from behind here. You're not about to run away from him. Knowing that Keister's got it. Could finish her off. But she's got a bow, so she's not going to be doing much damage. Let's go ahead and engage this guy. And uh, protection. And it's going to give it to all of them. That is a beautiful... Keister's coming in clutch here. I mean, not Keister, but Zim. Or he could use Fury. And finish him. No, I wouldn't finish him off. So let's do the protection. It's going to literally give protection to all of us. Every last one. Alright, we're, we're really dominating this battle here. Did I not do it? My bad. Alright, protection to everybody. And... Bam. Bam. Zim gets another kill. And then Zim's going to run in front of, of Johnny and defend him. Because that's, that's just what he does. You know, he's such a, an amazing teammate. He's going to put his body on the line. Okay, that was a better hit there. Keisha takes four. Now it's time for Keister to fight. Hits him with a five. Hits him with a weakening. 
And then with another. Only a six, so. It's not gonna look. Okay, Keyser will not be able to win this 1v1. He's a little too far behind. I think. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It is technically a 4v4 right now. They've had one. F one fall, I think, or two fall. And we've had one. It is now Jordan's turn to go ahead and get us. Oh, no. He's not going to be able to do it. Ahead, stab. And, uh. I think we just end the turn there. And now it's time for me. What I'm going to do. Zim, thank you for the help. I, I really do appreciate you for defending me. I am going to go over here and do the same for Keister. Just because, you know, I want to make sure that my boy is going to be alright. Shoot him in the back. And I'm going to not use my special ability. The recoil shot just, be, just in case we need heals. That does put this even though. This is evened out. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Let's see what they do. This is a this is a good battle right here. All right, there's a four on Zim. He's gonna take two shots here. Oh no, that's he's gonna have time to get out of that because he's not engaged. So what Zim? Honestly, wait, who's moving next? Okay, it's this guy. So I think we need to select Zim. He needs to. Come around the back here. And he's going to be able to engage this person, which should cancel this out, I think. Or no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't even engage him either. Well, he's going to actually be able to get away as well. And, uh... We'll have him fall back over here. two rounds are we still under protection right now yeah we are so we don't really need to use this okay so we're just gonna go ahead and end the turn <clears throat> and this is honestly perfect because it takes him a minute now Jordan's not gonna be able to move because he is engaged but luckily for him one more shot and the bomber is dead and now he can get out of here and he is just going to go ahead and run over here and you know, no we're not gonna do this frenzy is is trash now it really is not that good anymore so uh, we're just gonna leave him there though and now let's see keister or I could do 7 to 12 keister could do 5 to 11 I think I'm gonna take another shot here. Ooh, a ten, not bad. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna keep them engaged, but I'm gonna knock this guy backwards a little, a little more. And there's an eight. And then I'm gonna move up and get right here. So if any of these guys need hills. I can heal them. He's gonna get a four off on Keister, that's okay. Keister basically eating that. I've already went, Zim's already, so Keister is the only one left to go. He'll hit, a, he'll hit him with an 8. Not bad. We're going to end our turn. I love it, though, because my ability to push them back kind of keeps them... It slows them down from getting in to the battle. Now, Zim did take some damage right there. He, he, he got licked up pretty well right there. But uh, I think he's going to be able, he's gonna be just fine. He'll answer back with a 17 of his own. Oh, 
and a 12. Okay. Could have been better. That's okay. In that turn. This person gets in position now. But you want to know what? I'm about to knock him right out of position now. Watch this. First, I'll hit him with my arrow. Then, get the f back. Get away. Get back. And slow down. Like, I love the bow and arrow, man. It's, it's honestly amazing. And, um... Actually, I'm going to come back around. Since I think Zim's good. He's in a good way. And I'm going to heal my boy Keister. Just in case I got to take another shot at this guy. Get in position. Nice little stab there by Jordan. He's going to come around. And we'll end the turn. Okay, that was a big hit on Zim. Huge hit, actually. Hey, Keister's going to finish this henchman. Zim is pretty, is pretty hurt, actually. Believe it or not. So what Keister's going to do is put himself in between him and Zim. And end the turn. It is a new round. Can Zim win his battle? He is. He's going to finish that henchman. Nice. And now, it's, it's basically over for this person. Keister finishes it. And there you have it. We have rescued Whitehead. So Whitehead is back. We're going to go ahead and loot all of this stuff. Repair all. We can't heal anybody yet. But um, honestly, we all look okay. Yeah, none of us are hurt except for Whitehead. They, He's still infected and then... Contusion. He has a contusion. That's not good. And what a way to end on a good note. For, I mean, look, Tootin' Hootin', he got an upgrade. That's right. Tootin' Hootin', the man who can't do anything wrong, has finally got an upgrade. Carrying capacity, or this unit can now fight and wear armor plating. Wow. Or we, he could just carry more for us. I think I want. I got to see this war pony in action. Alright, so, <clears throat> we have saved Whitehead, but now we're not done. We are going to do something that, you know, we said we were going to do. We're going to keep our word, and we are going to buy this very expensive cure for the, pl for the plague that he has. And we are going to treat it. And he is now... A little bit beaten up. But he is. Honestly. He's cured though. And that's. I guess the most thing that. Or that's what matters the most I guess. Um. You know what. Let's uh. Let's heal for 20. Let's get him healed for 20 as well. So now it's time to hit the road and drop him off back to his wife. Man, I, I think that's what they would want. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I forget where they actually stayed, which one it was. All right, we're going to ride back there. I'll cut to when we get there, guys. Alrighty, we're arriving back to Whitehead's old house here. This is where we came across him. Let's see what's going on. Uh, well, guys, it seems as though Whitehead's wife has 100% moved on and doesn't want him back. Uh, it's a little uh, awkward, 
I guess to say the least. Um, well, Whitehead, you know what? Don't worry, man. You'll always have um, a home here. All right. You don't want to know what your wife is doing. Um, I don't really think she cared that you went missing, man. Um, it seems as though Whitehead is sticking around with us for a while. Um, and I think I like that, man. I feel like he is a part of the family. You know? Um, for season one, this is where we're going to end it, guys. We did exactly what we said we were going to do. We made some money, though we're not rich at all we're still poor actually but we we were able to be the good guys you know save someone in need cure him um we ended up losing him then we rescued him again cured him brought him back uh to his wife and his wife uh <laughs> not gonna talk about that um and so he's he's found a new home and we are all are here together alive after our one whole season will there be a season two i don't know Maybe one day, if you guys want to see it. But for right now, this is where their stories shall come to an abrupt end for now. There's no telling what lies ahead of them. But I love it because that we didn't lose anybody. Um, Johnny would end with a level 3 for Season 1. Zim, the Protector, level 3. We weren't able to get him a new shield, but we did get him some better armor. A doublet there. Johnny ended up getting some better armor. A master doublet. Um... Keister ended up getting some better armor and a different weapon because he lost his hammer. But uh, he was... Uh, also, he got the name... Uh, look at this, for bragging all the time. That's pretty cool. He's the only one with a cool little name. Besides me, I'm obviously named the captain. Uh, Jordan, the cutthroat. He uh, got some new armor. Archer's doublet. He actually got the most highest worth of armor and he was a savage boy um oh wow you can capture people anyways then the new you know the new head who ended up you know still in our hearts and joining us uh whitehead he didn't get any upgrades really but um he did get cured and i feel like that's what's the most important of course tootin hootin we all know and love got an upgrade level three as well one thing I will say, he likes Keister a lot for some reason. I don't know why, but that's pretty cool. And I like Keister as well. Keister has three people that like him. Zim, Johnny, and Tootin' Hootin'. Jordan. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, RIP to, 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 uh, to Boog, our wolf. He, uh, he didn't last too long. But... He will be missed. That's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.